Yeah. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to your favorite installation of, again, your favorite homegrown legacy full proxy series. And this is the ninth installation of Buffalo Chicken Dip. We're on ninth uh, already. We are on nine crazy. already. It's been a minute since I've played. Every time I watch, I get a little bit jealous. Kind of long uh, I'm one of your two co-hosts, Nathan Snyder, joined by... I'm Jesse Liu. Hi, guys. Nice to meet everyone. Oh, God, the camera lagged a little bit. Uh... Cool. So today, I believe we have the full 64 players. Do we? That's crazy. Uh, well, we had 64 players registered. If, yeah. If a couple people didn't show up, we still have six rounds. It always caps. So it'll, it'll always cap. It'll be six rounds of Legacy Swiss. Again, full proxy. So you might see some not so good looking cards on uh, on camera. Um, but that's totally cool. But great magic. The best magic. <laughs> Legacy is just the best. So... Uh, we've got six rounds of hot legacy action today, and then a cut to top eight. And uh, first, I believe, is uh, either a volcanic island or a tropical island. It's Something a volcanic like island. It's, it's a volcanic island. And then the top four is duels. Top eight is Force of Wills. And then 9th through 16th is Ancient, Ancient Tombs, yep. which is sick. Pretty so great. people playing some... Uh, very accessible proxy legacy gameplay for some hot cardboard prizes. Yeah. And we have our first match about ready to start. Our players are in the players meeting. So let's get that switched over. So our two players, we have uh, Dominic Madalena and Bill Caminos. Looks like uh, Dominic's taking a mulligan. Let's fix. So Dominic is on Blue Red Delver. And if... Anyone's been paying attention to Legacy the last, I don't know, 10 years? Yeah. Uh, Blue Red Delver's pretty good. It's it's usually uh, one of the best things you could be doing in that format. So. Uh, and then uh, Bill Caminos is uh, coming in with a new brew called uh, it's a Displacer Kitten deck with uh, Artifact Synergies in the deck with a bunch of... Uh, yep, there we go. It's the Grimonolith turbling out the kitten... And the Karn that they have in their deck. Okay, we're off to a very speedy start here with... Oh, okay. Uh... Turn one, uh, Karn, you. Okay. Right, if you are... <laughs> if, That's like, if, 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 quite a if, start! Okay, if you're Dominic, if you're sitting in Dominic's seat right now, what are you thinking? Probably fairly dead. So he's just going to try to kill them. The next turn with a Michael says lattice, which is a uh, band and modern. It is band and modern. So, what do you think about this play? Uh, turn one, just jam the card, right? Probably correct every time blind it, on the play. It seems extremely it, powerful. It resolves, yeah, and it, then he grabs a Michael says lattice, right? So if the Michael says lattice resolves, that's game over. It's right? yeah, they're dead. So, even if your opponent's on a blue deck, I actually like this line a lot where you grab the Michael says lattice and then do you have it? I, I, yeah, I that's mean, my it, kind of gameplay. It, it requires also Dominic to have a Force of Will on a mold of six. It'll be down to four cards if he chooses to do that. And then Bill will also just have, you know, still four mana the turn after uh, to play whatever they want. Right. So pretty, uh, pretty powerful. So pretty powerful. It has to be hopefully a lightning bolt coming at the Karn, but it is not. So. Just ponder, spinning some wheels. Uh, so I believe Bill should have 18 life. Yeah, from the tomb, and then 19 Dumb. for Dom with the crack fetch. Yeah, I'm very curious to see what else Bill is going to do next turn. So, four mana. Need two more for the Microsynth Lattice. So, see what happens. Uh, how Bill can produce two mana the turn after. Or maybe just down take a Karn for, uh... Just going for a Kappa Cannon here. Okay. That's from the sideboard, I'm assuming. Very, uh... Wow, that's a lot of mana. That is a lot of mana. So do you, uh... If you build, do you play the Mike's Athletics here? Uh, I think you just play around a... I think you play around the days this time. Uh, from the Delver player and just jamming this other threat. Be like, can you answer this card you cannot beat? And if he answers that, then maybe next turn Bill can jam a 
Yeah, there's the days coming out from Dominic. And the next turn, Bill can just jam the lattice, be like, do you have it again? Because clearly he does not have a lightning bolt. So... Three cards in Bill's hand, one of them we know. So, wondering what Dominic will do to try to get rid of some of these cards. Uh, also, Force of Will for the Michael Smith Lattice, which is quite good. Yeah, if you're Dominic, all you can do right now is damage control. Just counter. You gotta try to stop everything and then slam a threat and hope it's good enough. Over Monolith. You know, those eventually attack, right? <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> they, they, they do eventually attack. Stacking the tomb. Or stacking the... Uh, Seven mana creatures. available still. Can jam the lattice. Play around the days once again. Because Dominic did keep the ponder from the turn well, before. Has up, to, has up to nine mana available, right? With the uh, Grimmauer. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Mike's the to you. Yeah, there's a force. Pretty obvious. So we see a Pyroblast and a Brazen Borrower in their hand. I think the expressive iteration. Dominic's just running on one land this whole game. Eventually, I feel like this card is going to. <laughs> Finds a second land off of the stacked ponder. Going down to 17 from the fetch. They have a borrower in hand, from what I see, and a Pyroblast, and uh, one of them is not super good here. Ooh, the main deck Pyroblast caused some Twitter controversy lately. Well, you know, uh, it's very good in some matchups, so we see it being not very good in this particular matchup. Well, so if you want to look at it this way, the Pyroblast could have still been good against the... The Echoes. Well, there was a Kappa Cannon here that went on the stack. Oh, right. That's true. And uh, Dominic didn't have a mana up to Pyroblast that due to them you know, needing to ponder for a land. Okay, so here's a clock. And uh, I'm just assuming Bill will probably resolve anything at this point. Because... Uh... Alright, what's the Karn? Karn's gonna I die. I would love to see an Ensnaring Bridge here. Yeah. I think is the most... Uh... Yep, yeah, yep. There we go. But Dominic, oh, Dominic does have a borrower. Refusing to take more damage by tapping the other Grim Monolith. I mean, I I guess you could just untap one of them at the end of the turn, so you're essentially it's about the same. Right. So in the main deck, uh, Dominic has. Atlas. He does have two petty thefts. Two brazen bars. Two bars. In, in the main deck. Wow, those those seem to be. So what does Dominic need to win here? He need to have. Uh, honestly, Bill is on one card in hand. If if Dominic can assemble uh, petty theft to bounce the ensnaring bridge plus counterspell. Yeah, I like, think that this is a two turn clock. If he draws a lightning bolt, it is. Or if uh, Bill taps one of the ancient tombs again. So I think. So I think Bill used uh, some number of Ancient Tombs to untap a Grim Monolith. Bill is kind of running out of gas here, so... Yeah, this is the two-turn clock we were just talking about. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Now, if we see a, if we see a counter... Oh, there's another... Do the other Brazen Bar. Really? Yeah. Oh, the, the other no. card in his hand is the Brazen Bar. So that... Bill just top decked a Karn. Not 100% sure what Bill has in the sideboard to uh, so in the sideboard, it looks like he has a whole swath of things, but the most relevant that I could what you, see. What do you think of Bill's play here of just uh, not playing the Karn at all and then uh, and I thought Bill was at 10. That seemed like a. Early... Well, he play, he cast the brazen bar. Right? Oh, so no. Well, I don't think he could have. There was two mana left up. I feel like the game was conceded a little early, but I'm not. I'm not 100 okay. sure. Yeah, could have taken another draw step. Yeah, I'm also not sure why Bill just played, not play the Karn there. Maybe there was nothing to get. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. The so his sideboard didn't really have. He has a uh, like a. Tormod's Crypt or a Sorcerer's Spyglass. There's nothing that can actually handle the 
Uh, this, yeah, I'm. He could maybe grab a uh, walking ballista and try to shoot them down, but he's spending at least four life. To yeah, those, it. those ancient tombs really hurt. Uh, after a certain point, so a a uh, very explosive start by Bill Camino, thwarted by uh, you know a one landed daze force of will draw from the yeah player. turn one Karn on the play no counter magic, and the Blu-ray Delver player able to assemble a. Uh, a good number of boomerangs to close. I didn't. Out. I didn't think Dominic had a shot in that game, but obviously I was proven wrong. Yeah, the the blue spells are too powerful. All right.